welcome to the Natural History Museum of Toulouse. Created in 1865, renovated in 2008, it preserves more than 2.5 million of specimens. It is the second in France, after Paris. The museum has four missions. The preservation and valorization of natural history heritage, the development of curiosity and delight of discovery in its public, the sharing of scientific knowledge, and the sensibilization of humankind, nature and environment relationships in all their diversity and fragility. Today, we will discover the museum behind the scenes and the history of several of its specimens. And the first of all, the giraffe of the north. In museums, there is an history behind each specimen, but some are greater than the other. And it's the case for this giraffe. It is a giraffe from the north or from Nubia, and it was one of the first to be exhibited in Europe. She died when she was exhibited in Toulouse in 1844. She was recuperated by the city and prepared to be integrated since the beginning of the museum in 1865. But it's not the end. This giraffe has a, a scientific importance. It is the neotype of the species, the species Giraffa camelopardalis. In fact, it is the specimen of reference from all the scientific of the world. The ancient one was too degraded to be uh, studied in genetic ways. So the scientific proposed several months ago to make of this specimen the new type of the species. I propose you to dip further in the mysteries of the museum. Together, we will see the prehistoric storage rooms. Follow me. Here we are in the storage room of prehistoric collections. Here are preserved tens of thousands of artifacts and specimens from several judgments and multiple periods. The southwest of France was of first importance in the beginning of the prehistoric studies. Toulouse was the, the place to be for many scientists, and we have here some, uh, some artifacts, some testimonies about those scientists. For example, this small on X. It was not discovered in the southwest, but in Somme, always in France. It was discovered by Boucher de Perth and donated in 1860s to Edouard Arte. Here is a, is a specimen very interesting scientifically, but also by the, the testimony about the links between this, these two scientists and the, um, their correspondence on these questions. A great discovery made in the field but several are always made in the collections and we will see it now with this specimen. Some specimens keep their secret for a long time, but we have discovered uh, the secret of this specimen very recently. Here we have a shell from a sea snail who lives actually in North Sea and North Atlantic, but it's not the specimen who is interesting for us. It is this one here from 18,000 years ago. It was discovered in Marsoulas, in the earth of Pyrenea. It is from 18,000 years ago, and it was easily transformed by human hand. Here we have a red pigmentation, and the submit of the shell is cut very precisely for one goal, to make from this shell a sea shell horn. And to help us to understand this specimen, to help us to understand the sound it could produce 18,000 years ago, we made a replica here in the laboratory of the museum. And now I invite you to follow me in this laboratory. Here, we are in the museum laboratory. Here are the posts of the taxidermist, where are prepared the fossils and where are made casts and replicas. For example, the seashell horn of Marsoulas. 
Here is a replica where we can see the ornamentation, but also we will help us to understand the inner structure. For these replicas, there, is, there are knowledge and also a regard. This regard evaluates with the knowledge about the species we study here and we preserve here in the museum. For example, the, di the dinosaurs and the tyrannosaur. This model of tyrannosaur was uh, bought by the museum in the 1930s. It was the vision, the contemporary vision of a dinosaur. This vision has evaluated. And here, when we reconstruct a dinosaur, for example, a moa, it is completely another thing. This skeleton was rebuilt for the, an exhibition uh, during the last, the last years here in the museum. It incorporates the latest knowledge about anatomy and behavior about this species. But this skeleton can also produce magnificent effect on publics. It can cultivate the curiosity and the delight of discovery. And here in the museum, we have other means to cultivate it. And we will see it in the pedagogic storage rooms, which we will discover now. Welcome in the pedagogic storage room of the museum. Here are preserved pedagogic collections, which can be touched by the public but also some patrimonial specimens. And here, this one. It's a fructification from a raffia. A raffia is a palm tree which lived in Madagascar and on the southeast coast of Africa. But it's not only the history of the specimen which is interesting here. It's the history of its donator. His donator was a man called Balanza. He was born in the southwest of France in the second part of the 19th century. His passion was the botanic, and this passion leads him all around the world, from Paraguay to Turkey, from Algeria to Indonesia. Balanza gave a large part of its collection to the Museum of Toulouse. But this picture of a child of the 19th century can also be the picture of a child of our century, and it is a mission where the museum partic is particularly implicated. This mission to cultivate, to develop the interest and biodiversity and this is for what the museum joined the International Coalition for Biodiversity to lead this voice for the biodiversity. So we have seen all these spaces ordinary close to the public. Why we wouldn't go to the exhibitions? What a masterpiece is the mask of the spirit of Nimba. It was made by the Baga from Guinea. This mask is a symbol of fecundity and fertility. It represents a feminine idea with strong breasts, but also the long nose, the beak from the hornbill. This mask was collected in 1930s during the colonial era. It is a case for a strong part of an ethnographic collection. But today we pursue this collection and we are in straight link with the local population. It is a testimony, a material testimony of an immaterial culture today. Voila, this is the end of our visit. I hope you have enjoyed it, and overall, I hope you will soon come here to live the museum experience. Bye.